Observing safety precautions in a microbiology lab is important to reduce or eliminate the risk of accidental infection and to prevent potentially harmful microbes from leaving the laboratory. When you enter the lab, place coats, books, and other items you don't need in the specified locations. Your lab manual and lab supplies should be the only things on your lab bench. Never eat, drink, chew gum, apply cosmetics, or handle contact lenses in the lab. Do not nibble on your fingernails or pencils. Do not talk on your phone or text during lab. Learn the locations of the first aid kit, eye wash station, and fire extinguisher. Wash your hands with soap and water before you begin and after you complete your work, as well as before you leave the lab for any reason. Wash for at least 20 seconds. Wear protective clothing, preferably a lab coat. The lab coat should never be worn outside of the lab. Always wear shoes. Closed toe shoes may be required in your lab. Tie long hair back to prevent it from contaminating your experiment or catching fire. Cover any scratches or open wounds on your hands with a clean bandage. Decontaminate the work surface with a disinfectant before you begin your lab work. Gloves may be required for a specific experiment, or if your skin is broken or you have a rash. Gloves should be used once. Remove one glove by grasping the wrist and turning the glove inside out. Use the inside out glove to grasp the other glove and remove it by turning it inside out. Discard used gloves in the biohazard bag. Remember to label all of your plates, tubes, and slides so you can identify their part of an experiment. Bacteria are transferred between culture media and slides using an inoculating loop. An inoculating loop is a nichrome wire held with an insulated handle. Before use, sterilize the loop by holding the entire wire in the hottest part of the flame. You can see the hottest part of the flame is at the edge where the wire quickly turned red. Hold the loop vertically so the entire wire reddens. Let the loop cool without touching it before transferring bacteria. The loop must be sterilized before setting it down. If anything containing bacteria spills, cover the contaminated media in glass or plastic with a paper towel. Soak it with disinfectant and allow the disinfectant to remain on the spill for at least 20 minutes before cleaning it up. Use a broom and dustpan to collect broken glass after disinfection if necessary. Put the glass in the broken glass receptacle and wipe up any liquid. Place all contaminated tubes, plates, and waste materials in appropriate receptacles for sterilization. Contaminated glass and plasticware are sterilized by autoclaving before being discarded. Decontaminate the work surface with a disinfectant after completing lab work.